Hello YouTubers, LD, RN, AF, Cosplay here. Yo, again, I'm totally different angle because it is time for TMNT Batman comic number five. And, um, gosh, this is, oh, this comic, this comic people, I promise you. All right, I gotta do this fast, but I, I knew I had to get it done because if I didn't get it done, then I would have just been thinking about it and I wouldn't be able to get anything done so I had to get it done now so again like all the other videos that I have and uh, all I all the other ideas or videos I have of this comic spoilers from here on out like if you have not read this comic please go get you get it at your local comic book store just like the last one if you if it's not at your local comic book store I'm sorry go get it when it comes out read it and then come back and like my videos and comment on my videos and just we'll theorize about the last one together because after this people the only number six is left and that will be on May 11th and it will be awesome but that's May 11th here I don't know about May 11th for y'all so again let me get let me breathe let me breathe I gotta breathe okay so I gotta breathe and and we got and we just got jump right into it. So again, you all have been warned. Spoilers from here on. If you like my video, please scroll down and hit that like button, and please subscribe. And for the for the big finale coming May 11th, and for all my other future videos. And if you if you want if you don't if you don't want to see the spoilers, please do that. If you do want to see the spoilers, then please continue watching, and we will have fun together. And then like my video at the end. So, alright, here we go. So, okay. So just like the last time we opened up with this doctor, this time we open up with Gordon. And Gordon's, like, he's just like, you know, he's being Gordon-ish. He's going like, just think about retirement, just think about retirement, just think about retirement. And there's only, a few, you know, somewhere nice, somewhere sunny. And Batman comes to him and goes like, so what's going on? What, what has happened? Because apparently he's lit the bat signal, so he's the one who called Batman, but Batman's going like, I need to know what happens. He's going like, oh, there are days, Batman, when the, uh, there are headaches. Uh, do you have, please, just tell me you don't have any more headaches with you, and and then I'll, uh, I'll do it. And then Leo comes up to him and goes like, well, do we look like headaches? And Gordon's just going like, oh, good God. Oh good gosh! Think about just think about vacations. Just think about vacations. Just think about vacations. Just think about retirement. Don't think about a giant turtle talking. And Batman's going like, no, no, no. They're friends. They're don't worry about them. They they're just friends. Believe me, Jim. We've seen weirder in Gotham. He's going like, yeah, yeah. You're right. Well, if this is what friends look like, Barbara's telling me to get friends, but I'll just skip. So anyway, so he's telling them what's happening around with Gotham, and Penguin comes. Penguin shows up and was saying that it um was saying Shredder's plans and that he's got this whole army idea with um and then he tells him about Ray Shaw Ghoul, right? Especially since, you know, Sh the Shredder's a ninja clan. He's going like, really, Batman? If this one ninja clan tries to come into Gotham and claim Gotham as it own, don't you think that would attract another ninja clan? And the surprise bat look on Batman's face like he didn't even bother thinking about Raish. And he goes like, oh god, that's Raish. Rish is here. <laughs> and, oh, so yeah. But uh, Leo's accusing Penguin of one doesn't even know why they should trust him. And he, he sticks his uh, umbrella in Leo's face going like, Do not let me incriminate myself in front of Gordon. I am here to help you girls to stop this madman. So don't get me started on this. And, ah. Uh, so they so they figure all that out. So they get a plan, and they're trying to. Um, and Gordon's saying that they have Arkham surrounded. They have it contained, but they can't do anything else without losing casualties. And Gordon's not really willing to risk that. So it's all up to Batman and the Turtles. So they go, and they're going to go and gather everybody else. Well, when they when they're leaving, R Leo's asking about Raish, and Batman's trying to tell him the story about him. But all of a sudden, Leo faints. It's because of the mutagen. The mutagen is finally affecting them, and it is, they're running out of time. So we flip over to Mikey and Don and Casey in the Batcave. Mikey and Don are playing, you know, on the back of the area and having a grand old time. And Casey's woken up. He's going like, this is what y'all have been doing. I have fought tooth and nail to get to y'all. 
and this is what if y'all have been doing. And you can go like, yeah, we're just taking it easy, just like you should be taking it easy, because I fight took a lot out of you. And he's going like, dude, I'm fine. I just, I we have to get home. Harold, apparently there's this new character that, I, I wonder if he's from the 80s, if he's from the IW, I think it's called IW... D I I D W comics. I'm not sure which, but um, from their com from the new comics or from from s or from the 80s commercial or um, cartoon. There's a guy named Harold, a scientist named Harold, who's helping them. And he's the one that helped Casey get there. And but anyway, so we get the best thing that I've been praying for. We get Damien. Damien shows up. Oh. Thank you, comic book listeners. I don't know if you were listening to me or if it was your plan all along, but thank you. You got a baby. And, oh, he got, he's standing on top. He's crouching on top of the back mirror, looking down on Donnie and Mikey and Casey, going like, "You are going to tell me who you are and why you're in my cave." And of course, Donnie's going like, "Your cave? Who the heck are you?" And so, oh my gosh, I'm so dainty. He goes just breaks out into this, grabs his sword and starts just beating up on everybody, including Casey. He takes on Casey for a minute, and then he's turning around trying to take out Donnie. Gets Donnie out of the way, and then Mikey's got him in a chokehold, and, Don and he's, when he's got him, like, Damien takes two seconds to look at the back computer and goes like, wait a minute, you hooked up my, it says Q box, because apparently they can't write Xbox, so... <laughs> So he goes like, you hooked up my console, my game console to the back computer, right? Mikey goes like, yeah, how can you not play it on the back computer? Have you seen this thing? And D Damien's going like, why are thieves trying to play video games? And Casey's the one getting up going like, dude, we're not thieves. And he's going, Damien's going like, ah, oh, shush, I'll be the judge of that. And tries to hit them again. All of a sudden, Damien! Somebody yells Damien, and it's Bruce. And Bruce is, has Leo in his arms, and Raph is behind him. And, uh, oh, man. So, yeah. Uh, so they all get together, and they're all crowding around Leo. And, you know, of course, when everything, anything bad happens to the girls, it always starts off with Leo and works its way down. I, I don't understand why. But Casey's going like, so yeah, this is what's happening. This is them losing the munich, and this is them. They need to get home, and I have the device to get them home. And they're going like, wait, what? What is this? And he's going like, well, Harold explained to me it does blah 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 blah, um, and sciencey stuff. But we only, but the main thing is, is that we only have one chance to do this. We only have one shot, and <laughs> one shot. <laughs> and so, and so, oh gosh, Batman's going like, all right, y'all need to get home. This is, y'all are done. You, yeah, you, we get what's going on. We get, we get Shredder's plan. We get Miles al Ghul's plan. We got it. We have it all sorted out. With Damien here now, we can, we can take him down because we've taken down Tupper together. And we can just finish it. Y'all go home. You'll be safe. And I'll keep Shredder here. And then you'll never have to bother him again. And Leo's going like, no, we have to stay. And Tacey's going like, no, dude, you have to go home. Look at you, you have to go home. And oh, so Batman and Damien are trying to, well, Damien's first of all trying to talk to Bruce in a section, going like, Dad, I need to talk to you privately. And he's going like, not, not now, not now, we'll talk later. And so they start walking away and Splinter's going like, um, you're underestimating Shredder. Bruce, you know this, right? He goes like, Master Splinter, I'm a, I'm very happy for your advice, but believe me, we've we've got this. And he goes like, no, you don't understand. There's so many more layers to his plan. There's got to be Ra's al Ghul's getting his army together to backstab Shredder, but Shredder is probably already backstabbing Ra's al Ghul three ways to Sunday. You have to not underestimate him. I beg you not to underestimate him. And so then I goes like, okay. I understand. I I do actually understand now. Thank you. And Alfred, please get them all home. And and so everybody starts saying goodbye. Raph shakes his hand. Mikey hugs him. And of course, Mikey's got to say, you know, um, oh, I can't be over already. And I'm begging you, it's not. I mean, this is number five, so we know it's not. 
And I, I, I'll theorize about it later though. So then Damien and uh, Fat Bruce leave and they're not taking the car because they're not taking the ugly car and they're not taking the smashed car. So they take the bat plane, land about, I think, I think they land outside of Arkham or maybe just like out in the outside of the gates like not in Arkham building itself. So they land and Damien's going like, I, I realize that it's your parents' anniversary, death anniversary soon. I should have come home sooner, I'm sorry. I have, I gather, was gathering all this information on my grandf on grandfather and everything like that. And Bruce is going like, you don't have to apologize to me. You're here now and that's all that matters. And you got the information to me when I need it most. So I thank you for that. And it's just, it's just a good little, it's just a little back to tax the bone. Then, all of a sudden, Penguin comes out and goes, and is saying that, Welcome, Batman. You, you know, you've fallen right into our trap. And, you know, because I decided to tell you of the secrets, you know, Shredder decided to punish me. And, and so Batman's going like, well, what did they do to you? And he steps out into the light, and he's an actual penguin. Like, a literal penguin. And so he's, and then... He goes like, so, now that we have this grand plan for Arkham Asylum and Gotham City, we must get rid of you. And the plan, of course, starts with you, Batman. And the big full page to end it all is all the Arkham Asylum inmates as animals. Literal animals. We got Riddler as a fox. We got Poison Ivy as a praying mantis. We got Joker as a snake. We got Bane as an elephant. A scarecrow as an actual crow. Uh, Penguin's a penguin. And oh God, uh, Two Face is a baboon, two faced monkey. And oh my God. Uh, oh, the, Mr. Freeze was a polar bear. Oh my God. It's so cool. So, oh gosh. So this comic ends. Just like that, and nothing, not a lot happened in this comic. It was Damien coming home and Damien giving information, or stuff that we already knew, and that was it. We didn't even get to see Rod. We didn't even get to see Shredder. And it was, uh, it just ended, and it was so short, and it was so sad. So again, not a lot happened in this one, and I was really surprised. But I got what I asked for, people. I got my Damien. I got my Robin, and it was awesome and I'm so freaking happy so now we have the big conclusion that we're gonna get in May 11th so we have to wait a whole month and uh but you know on a May 11th that means we only have two weeks until new turtle movie so yay but oh gosh so yeah okay so let's theorize real quick okay so we've so this is how it has to go down. So uh, let me think of it. Okay, so this is what's going to happen. They're either going, um, the Arkham uh, Asylum inmates are either going to win and actually turn Batman into a bat, and then the turtles are going to get wind of it and going to have to save Batman, and then it's going to be the big confrontation with the turtles versus Shredder versus Rashad Ghoul versus Batman ver or Man Bat. I'm guessing that's what he's going to call himself because that will be Man Bat. And then um, they're going to change Batman back, and they're going to be okay. And, or either that, or they're going to change themselves because they're going to, um, because the fight will be going on, and they would have, and that would take too long. And, oh man, and then they will have to go home, but, or something like that's going to happen, or either that, or maybe, like, like, like Casey said, they only have one shot, so maybe even then. They're gonna have, they're gonna, they're like the turtles are gonna sacrifice themselves, and they're gonna send Shredder back, and they're gonna like take the shot out on Shredder and send him back. And ah oh, man, it's gonna be so hard. It's, this is really hard to theorize because it could go either way, but I, I think it's gonna go with they're either gonna turn that in or they're not. Batman's going to escape with Damien, and then the turtles are going to get wind of what's happened, and they're all going to have to clash in Arkham, and all, and then turn Arkham Asylum inmates back, take down Shredder, take down Roz, and then, and then end it, like somehow, end it with really coolly, and 
Oh man, and gosh, guys, this cover was beautiful. There's only like we saw like everybody. We saw like sh I wanted to like recreate this cover because it's really cool. Because like Shrek's on top of Arkham Asylum, uh, the the bar, and every all the inmates are coming, are storming out in this big beaut. Ah, it was beautiful. The only thing I, I I don't I like I don't know who's the little um. There's this little green character right next to Joker, and I don't know who he is. I've never seen him before in the comics or um, in the in what I've watched of Batman. So, oh my gosh, guys, this comic again, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful issue, and I am so ready. I am so excited for number six. And then uh, number after number six is done, it's over. We're I I. If you all have any suggestions of what I can pick up or what you want me to review post down in the comments below uh, but i am so ready for the ending and i can't wait to see y'all next time so from my my heart to y'all hearts y'all turtle hearts y'all batman hearts y'all fans uh, please like my video please subscribe check out other videos here if you wish if not i thank y'all for watching and i hope y'all have a great rest of the week and a great weekend and just continue being awesome bye turtle fans and bye batman fans